Okay, welcome to this tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do simple IP banning. Now, it's it's essentially just what exactly what it's called. It's you'll be able to. I'm going to show you how to get your users' IPs, and um, and I'll also show you how to uh, make it so if that IP is inside of like a list that is people you don't want on your site, their IPs, uh, you can then uh, display some sort of message, whatever you want and it'll ban that that specific user um, or that specific computer from your site now you can't do this on a local host um, and the reason being is because your local host is your server so your computer is your server um, and because of how ne how uh, computer networks are set up um, you can't um, you don't it doesn't display your own IP so you have to be using a server, a, a legitimate server online. You can't be using your own computer. Now, uh, what I recommend is going to triple o webhost dot com. That's triple zero webhost dot com, and they offer they offer free web hosting. Uh, it's great if you don't want to have to pay for your web hosting. You're just doing some test things. They you can either use your own domain name or you can use a subdomain of theirs. Uh, just sign up for a subdomain. And it's it's great for testing uh, things that use uh, use things like IPs, which is what this is. So I'm using my website uh, because it's running off of a server, um, a paid host with I think GoDaddy. I don't remember. Uh, I think it's GoDaddy. Um, but so I'm running off of a server. So you have to be running off of a server to be able to do this. Now currently, if I view my page source, there's nothing on the page at all. This is the file. These are the two files. Now. Uh, this banned ips.txt. This is a text list of different IPs. Now, one of these is mine. Uh, it's actually this one, I believe, the 122. And uh, so, and this, both of these files are currently uploaded to my server. So you can see right here, they're uploaded to my server. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start coding. So, the first thing we you want to do is uh, you want to create these two files and upload them to your server. And the first, the very first thing in our IP banner.php, uh, that's just what the file is called. Um, you want to create a variable, and you want to call it IP, or really whatever you want. And uh, it's going to be equal to dollar sign underscore server, and then your brackets and a semicolon, and your quotes inside of it. Now inside of here, we want to say remote underscore addr. So that's remote address. So that's how you can get your users' IPs. Now, if you want to get your server address, your server's IP, you can type in server ADDR, I believe it is, or maybe server underscore address. I think it's server underscore ADDR. That'll give you your server's IP, so just to let you know. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create a file variable, and we're going to set it to file underscore get underscore contents, and then parentheses. Now, inside of here, inside of our parentheses and inside of our quotation marks, this is the name of your your list, your banned IP list. So, in this case, mine is uh, banned IPs.txt. Um, so, it's fairly simple. Uh, and now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply echo out the dollar sign IP, and then I'm going to throw in some line breaks just two and break and then I'm gonna echo out the file so what the get uh, the file underscore get contents is that is it just what it is it gets the entire content of the uh, of the file we we say so I'm just gonna drag that over to my server upload it okay we're done and if I refresh you can see that we have this is my current IP and then this is the list of IPs in the file. Now you can see that each one is separated by a space, um, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can have it like that. Uh, but if you look at the list itself, they're all in different lines. But it doesn't matter. It works all the same, uh, and I don't think there is any way to change that. But it works. Um, so we're going to go back to our band IP .php uh, page, and what I'm going to do is we're going to put in an if statement, and inside of our if statement we're just going to echo out uh, you have not been banned or something simple uh, and then I'm just going to say an else 
and we're just going to echo out, you have been banned. So, we're just going to get rid of the IP. So, inside of this if statement is really where everything goes on. It's really these four or five lines of code. It's really all it takes to ban someone's IP. It's very useful, very simple. So inside of here, we want to say str, str. So that what that is, is that's a function that's built into PHP. And what it allows you to do is if, you use, if you're using Dreamweaver, uh, Dreamweaver has its little uh, pop-up tools, tool tips that when you're using PHP and I, I guess probably some other languages. Uh, but I know for a fact it has it with PHP. So if you type in str, str, and then uh, open parentheses, it'll pop up. It'll say uh, needle, or like string needle, comma, string haystack. And that's essentially what it is, is you're looking for a needle in a haystack. Now the first value is our haystack, which is our file. So that's our, our, large, our large string that we want to search for something that's inside of it. And the needle is what we're searching for, obviously. You're looking for a needle in a haystack. And the needle is the IP. So we're looking for the IP inside of the file. So what we're doing now is this will return a 0 or a 1. So if the IP is found, it'll return a 1, I believe it is. And if it's not, it'll return a 0. So we want to put a parenthesis right there. So this should be three parentheses, and then you bracket. And then right here should be two parentheses. And then we have a question mark inside of it. So if it's not found, that's what this is saying right here. If the IP is not found inside of the file, then we're going to say you have not been banned. So we're going to upload it. And I'm still using that same IP list. See, you have been banned. And that's because inside of my IP list, I have my IP right here. So if I change my IP right there and then upload the list, refresh, you have not been banned. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just a simple IP banner. Um, and now this is easily, easily adaptable to work with the database. Um, so a database is, it takes up a lot more space uh, than just a text file, but it's probably more reliable. Um, and now this, this tutorial is just sort of an opener to a shopping cart tutorial that I'll be making soon. Um, and the reason being is because I just wanted to show you the IP thing. Because the shopping cart I'm going to show you guys how to make is going to be IP based. Uh, so there are other ways of doing it. You can use cookies, which... Uh, I don't know. I don't like. I don't like using cookies. Um, they're delicious, though. <laughs> um, so I guess that's the end of this tutorial. And uh, definitely be checking. Just definitely be looking out for the shopping cart tutorial. All right. Thanks for watching.